Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for taking the time to subscribe to this channel and be part of this weather community. All right, let's get right to it. It's not one spot, but two spots now that I'm watching. Clearly watching Debbie, but also this area here, catching your eye right there, that is a strong tropical wave. I do this channel for safety, so we well know about Debbie, and I'm going to get into that, but I need to get into this as well because a strong tropical wave is headed toward the Caribbean, and it could develop as we get into the week ahead, especially deeper into the upcoming week. Uh, development will be possible out of that. Here's the latest on uh, Debbie, or I should say soon to be Debbie. It is Tropical Depression 4 officially. Later today, it will become Debbie. Now, a higher likelihood this becomes a hurricane as it lifts up toward the Big Bend of Florida. It has shifted a little more to the west, so a higher likelihood it becomes a hurricane and it'll stay over water longer and kind of feed off of that. And then it should stall out, and maybe not necessarily stall out, but slow down. I want to watch my wording. Slow down uh, by George Georgia and South Carolina. A huge rain event uh, for parts of Georgia and South Carolina. Uh, eventually, as these things uh, stall out or slow down, always a huge, huge issue with the amount of water. Now, here is what's about to become Debbie. Uh, starting to flare up some, but as expected, uh, over Cuba now, so not a ton of development over the next few hours. But look at here. Here we are in Dominica, St. Lucia, Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada, for example. You can, This here, that's just kind of a blob of rain, but the actual tropical wave is right behind it. This is a strong tropical wave. Now for us, anywhere from St. Vincent to Grenadines through Guadalupe, uh, up through Antigua and Barbuda, I don't expect this to develop in the short term. But as we get into the upcoming week, this could very well develop as it moves across the Caribbean. And then we have another tropical wave and another one coming off the coast of Africa. As expected, it will get more active as we go over the next two to three months at least. Now, this tropical wave here moves in. I want to show you some of the heavy areas of rain. Zoom down. Trinidad, we could get some flooding with this tropical wave moving in, giving you that early heads up. Then as it marches across and gets near Haiti and Jamaica later in the upcoming week, that's when it could develop. Conditions are conducive for some development out of this. So we may see some development central western uh, Caribbean, but especially as it swings back toward the Gulf, high pressure acting like a blocker, keeping this new area area moving off to the west northwest. Now let me jump back to what's about to become Debbie. This is later today uh, trying to get better organized. It should get uh, officially named and upgraded as we get into uh, later today and tonight. And then as it stays over water longer, that's the issue. Uh, it will get even stronger as it lifts to the north. It's actually taken a similar path to Hurricane, Hurricane Adalia uh, from last year. This will work toward the Big Bend as it does. Some of those feeder bands or kind of outer squalls work in across the peninsula, watching out for a tornado threat across Florida, still seeing some of the rain in Cuba, and then it will make, it's all a little slower. So it will make landfall Monday morning by the Big Bend, most likely as a hurricane, and then kind of move across North Florida over toward Georgia, and then it just kind of sits there for a couple days. And if the center gets more offshore, it looks like it will redevelop further into a hurricane off the coast of the Southeast US. So these are those computer models. They were over here yesterday. They did shift to the West. So that's better news for Central and South Florida. That is worse news for North Florida back toward Georgia because it has more time over water for it to develop into a hurricane at the least, a very strong tropical storm before making the initial landfall. Now I wanna to get to the American model in a second. I wanna show you the setup here with the European model. European model obviously has struggled with this system. It's starting to latch onto it now better though. So you can see one front here. Here's high pressure. That's the blocker, but winds around it are clockwise. So it kind of follows the flow around that big area of high pressure and tries to find the path of least resistance. So this is later today. And then as we get into tomorrow, it'll start to develop. And there's that next tropical wave. Here we are, Barbados down through Trinidad, watching the increased uh, uh, green color. That would be the rain that will be working in. I'm going to zoom down later in this video in a second. This is what will become Debbie. And again, by later tomorrow, it should become a strong tropical storm uh, or eventually a hurricane before it eventually makes landfall. There's that area of high pressure. There's that tropical wave. The two spots we are now watching. Now, as we go out in time from Sunday, 
into Monday. It will make landfall Monday morning, most likely up toward the Big Ben. And then the European model showing what the American model is showing, how slow it is, which means a rain and a wind event in uh, different areas around the world, obviously, have different types of vegetation. Uh, the trees up toward parts of Georgia, although you get over toward some of the uh, uh, some of uh, low country, but the trees will have a difficult uh, time with this, meaning more in the way of down trees. Here's South Carolina, North Carolina. This is by Tuesday just sitting there. And then you can see this pocket right through here, the European model picking up on that tropical wave, not showing any development yet. This is by Wednesday, but increased rain here. I'll show you the American model in a moment. But then this, I mentioned as it gets offshore, which is a possibility uh, into Wednesday, it could refire up as a hurricane. So a long go with this system. And then watching this area here that will also be trying to develop later this week. So here it is uh, with the American model. You can see here, Debbie uh, could become a hurricane trying to move on shore by the time we get into a Monday morning. This would be Monday afternoon. And then right here, watching that, just kind of jumping ahead a little bit quickly here, just keeping an eye on those two spots. I'll slow it down in a moment. But just to show you again, as a hurricane off the coast of Georgia and South Carolina on Tuesday, and there's that extra rain right there. This is the pocket. Now, every now and then I look at uh, the American model and as it continues to put output throughout the day, occasionally it shows something developed near Jamaica trying to move back uh, toward uh, the Gulf of Mexico. Not to say we're gonna have something move into Jamaica, just near Jamaica, that's when we'll start to see some development. I really wanna watch my wording, don't wanna spread any fear, but you can see here, this is what I'm talking about. Still watching this thing up here, which is just crazy. This is by Thursday. And then this right here, this is the area of increased rain, at least for us in Jamaica, even over toward Haiti and potentially the Dominican Republic, extra rain around. But occasionally uh, the American model starts to show some development as this marches off to the west. That's why I wanted to mention and get the word out about this second area we're now watching. And you see these water temperatures, this kind of hotter pink color in here, parts of the Bahamas, parts of the uh, Gulf, right where Debbie's going to go over, 31 degrees Celsius, 88 to upwards of 92 degrees Fahrenheit. That is the fuel for these things. Now, looking at the winds on the broad picture, of course, here's uh, an organizing system, Tropical Depression 4 about to become Debbie. And then watching out for some gustier winds right here, kilometers an hour and miles per hour to keep everyone covered. People use different units. I try to uh, do the best I can just to get out the proper information. But you can see this spinning up. This is by Sunday evening. And is a little red in there over toward the Big Bend. That would be winds of about 70 miles per hour. 74 makes it a hurricane. So we're looking at winds of about 100 kilometers an hour uh, right here. And then we get just increased winds, brighter color showing up in the Caribbean. Nothing organized, but that's with that next tropical wave moving in. But you see right here, this is Monday, some strong winds as a tropical storm on a Monday evening near Georgia. Uh, gustier winds, northern Bahamas will be possible with some of those feeder bands wrapping in. But then you see it wrapping up again by the time we get into Tuesday. If it sits over the open waters, that could redevelop into a hurricane. You'll see more red shading showing up as we get into a Wednesday. You see it right there most likely as a hurricane. And then look at this pocket here. Here's Haiti, the DR, and uh, Jamaica. This is the area we're watching, that little surge of winds. It'll even get breezier midweek, Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. So next name on the list is Debbie. That's kind of what we're dealing with right now. It will be tagged Debbie. And then after that, the next name is Ernesto. Now we'll see if the next tropical wave gets a name eventually if it develops, but whatever the next area is that develops, uh, Debbie, Ernesto, Francine, Gordon, Helene, Isaac, and then Joyce. Now you can see the seas building. Obviously they're going to build here, parts of the Bahamas through Cuba, Florida Straits, over toward uh, the uh, eastern Gulf of Mexico in the southeast U.S., but they're going to be building here too. So let me just kind of uh, tick you out in time as we go forward. Uh, this here is by tomorrow on Sunday. There's meters and there's feet, and you can see exactly where you would expect things to be building, one with a, an eventual hurricane and another with a strong tropical wave moving in. So eastern Caribbean, the seas are going to get rockier. This here is by Monday, Monday into Tuesday, and things will get choppier across the Caribbean and, of course, building off off the southeast U.S. where we could have some of those seas upwards of about four and a half meters, easily over 12, 13 feet in some spots. Again, this here is the map on Tuesday. Now, more action as well. Eastern Pacific side, this is Carlotta. I'll show you the uh, track on that. Uh, but we could see another area develop right there. So a second area may develop. Carlotta stays uh, out to sea, if you will. It should eventually diminish. I know we got Hawaii, 
uh, out there as well. Uh, not, uh, not forgetting uh, that, but it should eventually diminish in a few days, but that second area will try to flare up. But this is what will become De Debbie as it lifts to the north. And there we go right there. That's that area I'm watching. So let me show you what we're seeing here. Again, Cayman Islands, we could get clipped by rain. Let me know if you're in the Cayman Islands, if you're getting any rain today, of course, watching the flooding across Cuba. And then things are going to really start to pick up as we work our way into tomorrow and early in the week across the Eastern Caribbean. Here's that next tropical wave that moves in. Barbados through Trinidad and Tobago. The rain chance is higher tomorrow and then will be even higher in some spots as we get into Monday. You see that surge of moisture right there. So an early heads up. Trinidad and Tobago, we have a better chance of some areas getting flooded. Some of the typical areas south side, uh, we could see some flooding as we get into Monday with some additional rain. Uh, Grenada, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, we're dealing with the recovery and the aftermath of barrel. This is not going to be a named system. Do not want to spread fear, but we are going to see some rain moving in. So giving you that early heads up, we have a tropical wave moving in with some rain as you continue with those uh, recovery uh, and uh, cleanup uh, efforts. Now, here's the rain, obviously huge surge of rain here especially up by North Florida in Georgia over the next few days, where it's going to be over one foot of rain. Eastern Cuba, we're still looking at an additional four inches of rain or 100 millimeters of some rain. Now, uh, scattered showers and storms possible uh, from Jamaica back through Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Turks and Caicos. Puerto Rico, we could get a few pop-up showers, but not as much for us in Guilla, Antigua, and Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis. But as we swing to the south, Dominica south, with that next tropical wave coming in, this is a hint of it. By the time we get into Monday, we're going to see a good batch of rain moving in. So with that, we could get some totals. These are three-day totals, but actually most of this would be late Sunday into Monday of about 100 millimeters of rain or four inches of rain. That'll be possible. Barbados, St. Lucia South, the better chance of rain later on Sunday, tomorrow into Monday, and even into uh, Tuesday. That does include some of Guyana and uh, northeastern uh, sections of Venezuela, and then scattered areas of rain still an aggressive pattern back through coast. Costa Rica and Panama. Mexico as a whole has been a little quieter. Still that chance of some showers and storms around Mexico City. Now, uh, the Atlantic region of Canada. I'm going to see how this system evolves. Debbie, as it moves off of the Carolinas. Now, it looks like it may stall out, but it also may get picked up into the front. The front's been moving by, moving by the next couple days, scattered showers around. So we'll see uh, some of the models hint at it getting caught up in these fronts and lifting up to the north, closer to the Atlantic region of Canada. Know that I I'm uh, watching that scenario. So for today, 50% chance of scattered showers and storms across uh, Jamaica and the Cayman Islands with what will become Debbie just to the north. But look at that increased chance of rain, Trinidad and Tobago. Rain chance is going to be bumping up in Barbados. Rain chance will be bumping up in St. Lucia. The spots I was just talking about, you see that 70% chance on Monday in Grenada. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, rain chance 70% on Monday. And you see it just making the climb even back through Martinique. We get over to for Dominica, better chance of some rain on uh, Monday. Guadeloupe, about a 40 to 50% chance. Guadeloupe to the north, not as much. Antigua and Barbuda, only about a 30% chance of a shower. St. Kitts and Nevis, 20 to 30% chance over toward Montserrat, Anguilla, and St. Bart's. Rain chance stays on the lower side. St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia, 30 to 40% chance of some scattered showers and storms in Puerto Rico. May catch a couple passing showers. British Virgin Islands and the U.S. Uh, Virgin Islands through the weekend into early next week. A little bit of a higher chance, though, across parts of the Bahamas as we watch uh, all of that action swinging back toward the Gulf of Mexico may see some of that moisture eventually getting pulled in through the uh, Bahamas. Turks and Caicos, better chance today. Some scattered showers possible than Dominican Republic. Isolated to scattered across Haiti the next couple of days. 20 to 30% chance for us in Belize, not too high. The rain chance in Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, not as high as uh, we may like it, but the rain chance will get higher with this tropical wave moving in. You see on Monday in Curacao, even tomorrow, rain chance about 30%. Could be higher. Guyana, rain chance about 50%. About a 50 to 60 percent chance through Suriname. Rain chance obviously on the high side, western end of Cuba with tropical depression four right overhead. Costa Rica, Panama staying active. 40 to 50 percent chance of rain in Nicaragua. About a 40 percent chance as we work our way into Honduras. Rain chance in uh, Guatemala and El Salvador about 50 to 60 percent. And we'll do that again as we work our way back toward Mexico City. Rain chance about 30 to 40 percent. The Yucatan of uh, Mexico over toward Merida uh, back swing over toward. Uh, 
Cozumel. Uh, Northern Columbia could see a few showers and the rain chance a little higher in our northeastern sections of Venezuela. Passing showers possible today in Bermuda, mainly dry for tomorrow. So a super busy pattern. Two areas to watch. Watching the flooding, the immediate concern across uh, Cuba as Debbie is forming. And it looks like it will become a hurricane headed up toward the Big Bend of Florida. A new tropical wave moving in. And I'm going to monitor for signs of development with that across the Caribbean at the least. I'll be tracking that rain with you for some of us moving in. And I'll track that island by island. Please be safe with these systems. I'll keep you posted. I'll go through the comments throughout the day. Have a good rest of your day.